Hey guys, today we're looking at Drakensang Online, a game by Big Point. This is a short review and my take on the game. Just starting gameplay, first impressions. The character creators, you get to pick between a spell weaver and a Dragonite. One is a caster, one is uh, a tank and spank melee DPS. They're not gender locks, so you can pick male or female. There's different bodies, types, and hairstyles to pick from. It's not too bad. It's a pretty good little character creator. The graphics on this browser game are excellent. It is a Diablo type look down game. And it's really well done. You don't need to download anything. You just log in and go. The skills are pretty good. Both classes have a sh you know, they're a limited amount of skills but they're they're pretty well done. And the effects are okay. They're not really amazing, but still, it's pretty good. Their effect spells are cool. Alright. Now we're looking at the item all. Or, well, oh, the traitor. I, I, I can't tell which one is which, but... Oh, it's the item all. Because in this game, um, Draken Greed Online is uh, basically... Everything in the game can be purchased with this animate. An animate is an item mall, basically money. You can buy animate from the company and you use it in the game. So if you need mana potions or health, you know, health pots or whatever, you gotta have this stuff. And you can earn this stuff in game by, you know, quest or farming for a couple hours. You know, that's really, you know, pretty cool. You can do that. But it takes a long time, you know, to get a sufficient. I mean, some guys they they team up and they you know they just farm it for hours and get it to just to upgrade their weapons because you need it to use your skills each class has these essences they use basically to use their special abilities and you have to have this stuff and the only way you can do it as you can see here is with andaman which might not seem bad at the low levels but as you work yourself up and you really put some time in the game it's a pay to win game and I have nothing against pay to win games I mean that's they have to make their money somehow and that's all fine I mean I've used item malls on many free to play games but the way they've implemented this into the the UI and basically it's just a big item mall I mean the whole game is like that every basic necessity that you need to play this game you have to spend real money on basically to enjoy it I would rather shell the money out for like Diablo 3 or Torchlight 2 and just be done with it and then have the whole game unlocked and good to go. That's the negative on this game. For me it is. I Some people are they're not fine with it. I mean some people they got the time to grind the free to play or they even feel that paying is okay and that, that's cool too. But for me that is just way too greedy way too greedy but the graphics are really good the fighting mechanics are pretty good also I mean it's not WSAD move or anything like that it's it's point and click or you hold the button down to move and stuff your attacks are you know your left and your right click you you can uh, you put your skills in the UI the UI is a uh, is awkward though it's different than other games I, I I mean, just adjusting the skills in it is, is kind of a pain. But, also, okay, in the game, all the quests in the game are fetch quests. The dungeons, you go in the dungeon, dungeons are pretty well done too. I mean, it's got a boss at the end of it, and they drop loot. I mean, they sell keys in this uh, item mall, or well, the trader or whatever, to open chests and stuff. So everything in the game has to have this item all money. But you get to the boss, you got, you know, they drop something, some epic item or anything. It's like you have to have a uh, scroll or something to identify it. These scrolls cost item all money, so. To me, like I said, it's a big letdown. But other than that, the game is okay. They got PvP in the game. You know, in ranking systems, on and it records your, you know, how much you, 
you know, wins and losses and stuff like that. And uh, the monsters in the game are recycled. All the enemies are recycled. So you think you're done with one map, you go to the next map, and it's the same monsters. They're just harder. That's a big letdown also. So guys, that's my take on this game. Um, if you like the review, go ahead and like and subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching.